Good day, this is MC Squared Coaching Center and this is continuation of Algebra Topic. Okay, so this is part 9 of Algebra. I'm Engineer Melvin John H. Banzuelo. So, simula na po tayo. Problem number 1, the sum of the digits of a 3-digit number is 13. If the tens and hundreds digits are interchanged, the new number is 90 less than the original. And if the units and hundreds digits are interchanged, the resulting number is 99 less than the original. Find the original number. Okay, ulitin ko, pong, ulitin ko po yung problem. The sum of the digits of a 3-digit number is 13. If the tens and hundreds digits are interchanged, the new number is 90 less than the original. And if the units and hundreds digits are interchanged, the resulting number is 99 less than the original. Find the original number. Okay. So, yung probably, itong nasa choices class, ito po, yung, ito po yung mga possible original number. So, itong problem na to is an example of a problem kung saan i-reverse naman natin yung pag-solve. So, sabi sa problem, the sum of the digits of a 3-digit number is 13. So, kung i-add natin 4 plus 5 plus 4, that is 13. 4 plus 4 plus 5, that is also 13. And then, uh, 5 plus 4 plus 4, that is also 13. And 8, 5, 8 plus 5 plus 0, that is also 13. So, sa first statement, the sum of the digits of a 3-digit number is 13, satisfy po lahat yung nasa choices. Next, if the tens digit and hundreds digit are interchanged. So, yung tens digit, ito po yung tens digit, ito yung hundreds digit. So, sabi pag inter interchange daw, yung new number is 90 less than. So, pag interchange natin 5 and 4, ano yung magiging new number? That is 544. Bakit naging 544? Kasi ang tens digit at saka unis, ang tens at saka hundreds digit, pinagpalit po natin. Pero sabi po sa problem class, if the tens and hundreds digit are interchanged, the new number is 90 less than the original. Ito po yung original, ito yung new number. Satisfy ba yung 90 less than? Hindi. Kasi ang nangyari, more than the original. So therefore, kung isipin natin, hindi na po possible answer si A. Kasi sabi, the new number, ito yung new number, the new number is 90 less than the original. 544 minus 444 is still 90 pero more than po yung new number sa original. Ang sabi po dito, less than. Okay? Try naman natin si letter B. So, na-eliminate na po natin si letter A. Si letter A is not now a possible answer. Si letter B naman, pag interchange mo, 44 pa rin. So, therefore, ang new number is 445. And difference niya sa original, that is 0. So, therefore, satisfy ba 90 less than the original? Siyempre, hindi. So, eliminate na rin natin ito si, si letter B. Okay, so may dalawa na lang po tayong pagpipilian C or D. Next, interchange po natin ito class. Interchange and then interchange din natin po yan. Pag interchange natin si letter C, magiging 454 and then ito 544. 454 minus 544, kung napansin ninyo dito class, mas maliit ito compared dito. Ito yung new number, ito yung original number. So therefore, this is less than the original. Pag isubtract natin, 454 minus 544, actually that is, that is what? Negative 90. So therefore, 90 less than. So kung napansin ninyo class, ito pag interchange natin 580, less than nga siya, pero hindi 90 less than. So therefore, Eliminate na rin natin si letter D. Okay? So, to recap, kanina, 544 minus 454, that is 90. This is 90 more than, kaya eliminate po natin. Ito, difference niya is 0, so therefore, eliminate din natin. Kasi sabi dito, if the tens and hundreds digits are interchanged, the new number is 90 less than the original. So, eliminate, eliminate. Kasi ito, 90 nga, pero not less than, but more than the original. Ito po yung 90 less than the original. So, sa actual exam class or sa actual board exam, yun na. Isagot na po natin si letter C. Shade po tayo kaagad ng letter C. So, napansin ninyo class, 
If gagawa tayo ng equations, mas masyadong mahaba yung time ng pag-solve natin sa problem. Pero pag ganito yung gawin natin, i-reverse lang natin, therefore, mas madali na makita natin yung sagot. So, kung i-try natin yung isang condition class, if the units and hundreds digit are interchanged, ito po, i-interchange po natin, units and hundreds digits are interchanged, the resulting number is 99 less than the original units and hundreds ito at saka ito so 4 4 4 5 so 4 4 5 minus 5 4 4 the resulting number is 99 less than sa original counter checking na po yan so therefore yan mali na po yung tatlo the correct answer here is letter C okay problem number 2 find K such that X cubed plus 4X squared plus KX minus 5 will exactly divisible by X plus 1 find K such that X cubed plus 4X squared plus KX minus 5 will exactly be divisible by X plus 1 so when we say exactly divisible by that means your X cubed plus 4X squared plus K minus 5 over X plus 1 has remainder equals to 0 so, remainder is 0 if exactly divisible po siya. So, gawin po natin, ito, i-type po natin directly ito sa calculator. Sa calculator, wala pong K. Instead of using K, gagamit po tayo ng A. And then, itong X plus 1 equals to 0, X equals to negative 1. Negative 1 is a substitute natin dito sa X para masolve po natin yung yung K po. So, ito po yung pag-type natin sa calculator. Ito yung given, ito yung K. Instead of using K, A po yung gagamitin natin. And then, equals to 0, kama A, ibig sabihin, sinusolve po natin si, si A. So, pag ganito na po yung pagka-type natin, class, shift calc, pag shift calc, then shift calc, ang sunod na lalabas, magtatanong siya ng value for X mo. Yung value for x mo is negative 1. Yan x plus 1 equals to 0, x equals to negative 1. Input ka ng negative 1, then press equal, and then magsasabi na siya ng solve for a. Pag makita nyo na po yung solve for a, another press equal ulit, then isosolve na po niya si, si a. And ang a, lalabas na a equals to negative 2. So therefore, the correct answer here is negative 2, and that is letter, letter a. I hope, klaro po yung pagkakasolve ko. Okay, problem number 3. For what values of x is log 5x over log 3x positive? So, sa ganitong problem class, so, mathematically, isusolve natin talaga using inequality. Since it will take time, haba yung solution natin, gawin natin dito sa problem na to class is, from the choices, kukuha tayo ng values na mag-satisfy sa choices and then isa substitute natin sa given. So, let's try first, di ba, log 5x over log 3x. So, mag-assume tayo ng value for, for x. So, yan po yung given, x equals to 0 0.1. Ano yung unang tinest natin dyan, class? Pwede natin itest ito si x less than 1.5. Ito pareha siya. 1.5 is 0.2. So, therefore, 0.2, satisfy po siya na if x is equals to 0.1, less than po yun siya ng 1.5. So, pag isubstitute po natin si x, magiging log 5, 0.1 over log 3, 0.1. Ang result po niyan, class, is 0.57572. So, it means that is positive. So, therefore, Check po ang condition na to. Dahil dito. Kasi positive po siya. Check din po. Iyan. Okay? Next na din test itong condition na itong x less than one third. Okay? Or x greater than one third. So, x greater than one third, pwede tayong gagamit ng x equals to one. Substitute natin sa, sa given. So, therefore, you will have log 5 one times log 3 one. And then, therefore, ang result niya is another positive. So, it means, class, correct din po itong x greater than 1 third. So, kung napansin ninyo, possible answer si C, possible answer din si D. So, therefore, pag i-combine natin, ang correct answer po dito, class, si letter A. So, ganyan, class, actual exam, shade na po natin kaagad si letter A. Pero, sa, for, the, for the purpose of discussion po natin ngayon, class, i-counter-check po natin yung letter B. 
So, 0.2.2.333, so kukuha po tayo ng x equals to 0.25. Titignan natin if magiging positive ba yung given function or given expression. So, if x is 0.25, then log 5.25 over log 3.25, the result is negative. So, therefore, mali po talaga si letter B. Okay? So, therefore, the correct answer here is what? That is letter letter A. Yun lang. Pag mga ganitong mga problems class, the best way to do is kukuha ka ng values na magsasatisfy sa inequality mo and then i-input mo sa given function. Okay? Thank you for watching and please do not forget to click subscribe and share to others para makatulong naman po itong video lecture ko na to. So again, thank you and have a nice day and our next topic po is Algebra Part 10. Again, see you. Uh, uh, again, have a nice day and enjoy